Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Inside of today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys the best comps for half of the Brawl maps currently in rotation inside of Brawl Stars. So just going to be giving you my thoughts on the overall uh, comps you should be using. Uh, the type of Brawlers that aren't really good in general, but you can push on certain maps. I'll be teaching you guys how to go for it, uh, where to play and what best matchups uh, to go up against. I thought this would be a cool series. I thought I'd split it into two parts. So... Uh, let me know if you really want to see the second part to this. I'll be doing that later on in the week for sure. Just want to split it up because there's 14 maps. I think that's a bit too much for one video. So just want to give my immediate thoughts on half of the maps. So uh, as you can see, I'm actually pushing quite a lot. Uh, push a decent amount. And actually 13th in the world. So hoping to get uh, towards number one at the uh, beginning of next season. So I'm going to be absolutely smashing the push. But uh, without further ado, let's jump into the first map. All right, so the first map, Backyard Bowl. I think it's the only probable map inside of a game where Jackie M's Sprout is going to be the best comp because it's such a long-range map. So take a note of these comps. As you can see, Piper is very, very dominant inside of this map. So if you've got Piper, definitely bring her out. But there's a lot of different brawlers you can go. I'll uh, go into that in a second. All right, so for Backyard Bowl, it's a real different map in comparison to other ones as it's a long-range one. You're going to be seeing a lot of Piper, a lot of Brock. They're the two brawlers that you really need inside of a comp if you want to be pushing high. But at the same time, uh, you can substitute a lane. Uh, for example, you can use a Penny, a B, a Max, a Carl, uh, a Pam, a Mr. P. They're like the main brothers you can really go on the lane. There isn't a lot of choice. A Sprout, obviously, is a really good uh, lane just because of his range but there's not actually too much you can change for it it's mainly the long range brawlers you want to be playing the mid is the super long range one so you want to be sending your brock your b your piper you definitely want to have at least one of them three inside of a comp just because of how long range it is but other than that there's not really too much to say uh, it's all about uh, i've obviously gone through this quite a few times in a different videos it's all about uh, pushing up to the set uh, first set of uh, walls you want to be having a wall break in your comp for sure because that's the most important thing. Breaking down uh, the enemy team's walls is going to be the key to success and winning inside of this one. But you've got the comps. You've got the overall strategy of uh, Backyard Bowl. It's a very different map in comparison to the other ones, as I said previously. And you're going to be needing a lot more skill inside of this map than any other map inside of a game currently. All right, so going into Beach Ball and just speaking generically in terms of every single Brawl Ball map, uh, the number one comp, other than maybe a few, is going to be Sprout, Jackie, Ems. So I don't want to really plaster Sprout, Jackie, Ems inside of every comp you guys can like substitute any of them free brawlers into any composition you're going to have a good time but they the five comps that i tried to mix up a little bit uh cole's really good in this meta now sandy max they're really good brawlers inside of a meta but as i said these are a bit mixed up okay so for beach ball i've realized the best mid is obviously either sprout or b b is super good inside of this map just because she absolutely destroys tanks she's just dominant overall she's got a gadget that you can place behind a wall which is really really annoying but if you haven't got a b uh, you can even push mids like Jesse here. Uh, Jesse's pretty decent, but like Gene, the generic uh, Gene, as I said, the Sprout. Them kind of uh, brothers you want to be playing. And then you can substitute. I like the likes of Sandy. Uh, Max are really good synergizing together. Uh, you've also got the M's. Jackie are going to be really good. BB's not as good as she once was, so definitely won't uh, use her too much. I mean, she can be used inside of Brubble, but not the best. You've got Frank that synergizes really well. Uh, with B on this map especially, but this is a map uh, which is quite wide open, so that's why I like the B inside of this one, and as I said, you can actually use quite a few different brawlers on the lanes like Spike and Nita, but the comps that I put uh, before are definitely the best ones, so definitely give them a try. Okay, so on to the next one, it is Field Goal, so Field Goal has became a personal favourite of mine. Yesterday I pushed so many trophies on this map, I even played the likes of Bull, Jesse, as you've seen in the previous video, and like Primo, literally like up 8 bit. I played so many different bad brawlers on this map, and it's such a good map in uh, terms of variance. You can play literally any single mid. Jesse's a good here. Uh, the most dominant one is B by far, though. Uh, B is really, really good, but you can play so many different mid brawlers. You can play so many different lane brawlers. Uh, it's really concise and confined down the lanes, and then in the mid, it's really open, so it's a, it's a really good map to push as many different brawlers as possible. All right, so for pushing on this map, I would advise you can basically use any single mid. Uh, the worst brawlers that I wanted to push up were like the likes of A Bit and Jesse. I really uh, had a good time playing them on the side of this map. But if you're looking to push high, I definitely reckon recommend B because B's going to be melting the Poco double tank comps. And B is just such a solid choice overall. She just melts everyone, especially on the lanes. Uh, with the mid, you want a brawler that can help you pinch on the lanes just because behind these little walls, uh, the mid can get really good, easy uh, pop shots on. And as I said, I like B that synerg B synergizes really well with Sandy, with Max, uh, with loads of different brawlers like that. 
Uh, Sandy is very, very good inside of this map just because of the wall peak ability around the walls. Uh, especially now, he's actually received a lot of indirect buffs. So, Sandy's going to be one of the best brawlers inside of Brawl Boy at the moment. And just for generic, Jackie. M's is going to be good inside of here but as I said this became one of my favorite maps inside of uh, Brawl Ball for sure and you guys shouldn't be struggling too much to push on this one as long as you get a good team uh, the comps shouldn't really matter too much but obviously the dominance here I'd like to constantly reiterate is BB is just amazing on this map. Okay guys so for Pinball Dreams a bit of a weird map uh, Sprout is very very dominant inside of this one but uh, if you don't keep facing Sprout so you, not all games are going to be Sprout so Rico is really really good. The other thing about Rico and B uh, actually it's just because they've got really low HP so Sprout's going to be dominating them uh, but when Sprout's not involved uh, inside of a game B and Rico are going to shine inside of this map. You've got lots of Frank that can uh, go against some walls he's got really high HP so he could just use that uh, use his presence and get up and personal into his face. Sandy again really really good inside of uh, Brawl Ball right now especially on maps with a lot of wall peaking ability. Her su uh, his super actually helps uh, control a lot of the map because once you throw that super down the enemies have to run away from it and again just a generic M's Jackie Sprout you're gonna be seeing a lot of that you're gonna be seeing a lot of Max you're gonna see a lot of Carl so for Pinball Dreams this is where I like to play a lot of my tanks of lots of Primo the likes of Frank I really enjoy playing on this map just because of the walls. It's really good positioning. Daryl is really, really good. Uh, the Poco strats are really good. And the walls will make it easy for brawlers, the tanky brawlers, to push up. Get up close and personal because other brawlers really can't afford just to push up uh, to your face. Again, the normal brawl ball brawlers are good. The Jeans, the Bs, the Ms, Jackie, Sprout. That's the kind of uh, comps. You're just going to be able to play them everywhere. Max is really good inside of Brawl right now. Sandy, really good. Them kind of like, there's like 10 Brawlers they can play in every single map. But this is where, as I said, I like to push my tanks. Again, you can play the likes of Jesse. You can even play Dynamark here. And he's actually pretty decent here as well. All right, so the comps for Super Stadium. This is the map that's currently out in rotation. I actually pushed a lot on it this morning already. But again, as you see, number one comp, Sprout, 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 Sprout. <laughs> Definitely uh, you'd be using Sprout if you want to be pushing high trophy. But again, you're going to be seeing a lot of Max. You're going to see a lot of Gene. They synergize really well together. Sandy, you can just put into any single combination and it's going to be working. Uh, Lots of Jackie as well, you can just put into any uh, combination for sure. Mr. P's very good on this map. Uh, just for his scouting ability with the portal, you can just lob it into the L shape wall down the left hand side. That's where I recommend putting it. And it could just keep scouting the grass because I see a lot of roses here, I see a lot of tanks, but. Uh, that portal really helps to discover where them tanks are. So the overall advice for this one, B is going to be really, really dominant inside of this for sure. But I definitely recommend playing the likes of a Sandy, uh, B, they've synergized really well. Frank synergizes really well with B because Frank can open up the map and then B can just go into town on side of Brawlers. But I've actually pushed Rico inside of this map. You can play a lot of different lane Brawlers inside of this as long as you're good at keeping your lane. Uh, for example, like the Spike, the Nita. I uh, play a lot of different uh, variances in the lane. It's just a mid that's kind of really specific. I'd only really advise playing B, uh, Sprout, and Gene inside of mid just because the other. Actually, no, Mr. P can be decent inside of mid as well. Uh, but other than that, there's only like a few brawlers that can go mid on this map. I won't advise playing it two more other than that. But again, the generic brawlers are going to be really good inside of this map. I really enjoy this one. Uh, it's all about obviously pushing beyond the walls again, uh, not allowing it yet enemies to sneak in around the sides constantly controlling your lanes and then pushing up to the next set of walls uh, but yeah as I said Frank's gonna be really good on this map the tanks are gonna be really dominant inside of this as well alright so the triple dribble uh, this map is definitely the best map for Sandy and Max Max is gonna be really good down that left hand lane this is actually not a symmetrical map so it depends on what side you spawn on but Max you want to be sending down the open lane and then, for example, we can see down that right hand side, it's a bit more confined, so you want to be sending the more tanky brawlers there, or the brawlers that can wall peak, so the likes of Sandy in that second comp, or the likes of Jackie in that first comp, you'll be sending down the right hand side, but generically speaking, any long range brawler you want to be sending down the open lane, and then the brawlers that are really better in close range, you want to be sending down the right hand lane. So for Triple Dribble, it's a really fun map, I love playing this map, you play a lot of different brawlers again. Uh, for example, Dynamite, a brawl about everyone struggles to push. He's very, very good inside of this map just because of the walls and uh, you're able to get a lot of value out of his supers. But again, you can play a lot of different brawlers. I even get away with playing Jesse, Rico. Uh, very, very good inside of this map. But if you want to be dominating, you want to be winning every single game, uh, the likes of Max, Gene, Sandy are going to be really, really good. Uh, the generic <laughs> Sprout.
Jackie M's. I bet you've seen that comp a million times. I don't even need to say anymore that that comp's broken just because it is. But uh, the brothers haven't been met for a while, the Max and the Sandy. Uh, they're going to be sneaking. They're gonna, just going to be just as good in terms of win rates inside of uh, here. And then, obviously, B's really good synergizing really well with them. Gene's always going to synergize well with Max because you want to be uh, using the Max Super and the Gene Pool at the same time to get some really good value. But Triple Dribble, really enjoy this map. You're able to play a lot of different combos. Okay, so then finally for this video, this is hot. This is halfway through the list. So let me definitely let me know down in the comment section below if you enjoy something like this. I'll carry it on and I'll definitely carry on for different modes. So if you want to see this, definitely uh, smash the like button and smash the comment section below because I'll know whether you guys enjoy it. But I said pinhole pun. This is a very, very dominant map for B again. And even Gene because of the scouting ability. But I definitely recommend B for this one. B's really, really strong. But again, you're going to see the same brawlers pop up again. I try to mix it up a little bit for these five best comps. But you can just basically switch around these brawlers. As long as you've got a decent mid in B, Gene or Sprout, you're going to be having a really good time. So for pinhole in terms of strategy and just overall thoughts on it. Uh, for the lanes, you can actually again play a lot. Uh, just because it's a lot of 1v1 interactions, as long as you kind of know your matchups and what brawlers to go up against. I'll probably be doing a video on that soon in terms of matchups. People tend to struggle on how to know which brawlers you need to go up against for sure. But again, B is going to be so dominant inside of this one when paired with Sandy as well. You can just throw that super into mid, just control so much of the map. It's really, really good. Uh, then the likes of Max have been creeping into the meta. This is quite old gameplay uh, from about a week ago or so before the balance changes. But Max, definitely recommend again to use that if you're a good Max. Really, really good inside of this. But uh, as I said, it's all about the 1v1 interactions. You've got the mid section that you're going to be helping pinch the left and right lanes. It's really, really important. The mid's definitely the most important role inside of this map for sure just because it's so open and then on the lanes we're going to be staying behind the walls so you want to be your mid to be helping you out as much as possible if you have a good mid that helps you out down the lanes you're going to be having a really good time inside of this that's why i recommend uh, early play a certain uh, amount of mid brothers that are going to be helping so the likes of gene uh, the likes of b the likes of sprout they're going to be helping the lanes really really well and then for personal preference down the lanes you could again play the more generic uh brubble comps so the nita the spike you can play for sure you can play a lot of different things down the lanes but it's all again it's just about how good you are really you can't really explain every single like interaction okay guys that's going to be the end of today's video so my first video like this so let me know what you thought of it i tried to give my best thoughts but it's kind of hard uh, to explain fully what to do with each single brawl inside of the comp, what matchups to go up against. So, if you want to see some type of video, I don't know how to execute that, but let me know down in the comments section below how I should do that because there's so many people uh, actually comment and say, like, what matchups do I need to go up against? Like, uh, how do I know to go in against a certain brawler? How do I know I'm always going to beat this brawler, etc, etc, etc. So, definitely uh, leave some suggestions down below because I'm a bit stuck on that. But as I said, I'm going to be pushing to number one. So, I hope you guys enjoy the videos to come. I'm going to be teaching you guys a lot in terms of tips and whatnot. But uh, 13th in the world, I'm going to be reaching top 10 easily today. And then next season, number one for sure. So, uh, definitely let me know what videos you want to see from me coming up. If you like this, definitely smash the uh, like button. And let me know if you want to see it for Gem Grab, Bounty, Siege. I'll definitely be doing them once. Gem Grab's got a lot of maps, but Bounty, Siege, I uh, only have about five, six maps, so I can do that pretty simply. But that's going to be the end of today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.